Hey ceramics classes, today we're continuing to work on centering. So here are the things you need to remember to have. First of all, have a bat. The bat's going to fit on top of your wheel. That's what you need to throw on. If you end up making something, that's awesome. You get to keep it on your bat and uh, it'll be a lot easier to take off your wheel. The other things you're going to need, you're going to need a bucket of water. You're going to need a sponge. That's all you're really going to need for right now. So don't worry about getting any other tools. You're going to need that. And also, you're going to need a chunk of clay. You're going to need about a softball-sized chunk of clay. That's about a pound and a half. So that you can get. Don't forget to practice your wedging uh, as you get your clay over at the wedging table. Now remember, when you get your clay, you need to uh, throw it down on the wheel pretty hard. You don't want to just gently set it. You want to slam it down as close to the center as you can get. And uh, Ceramics 1 students, as you guys are using the kick wheels, remember you don't want to kick straight ahead so that you continue to kick that splash pan. That's going to get really annoying. So remember to kick kind of at a 45 degree angle. And as you guys are working on the kick wheels, make sure that you kick to get the wheel spinning, then stop kicking and work on your clay. You don't want to be working on the clay and kicking at the same time. It's going to move your body too much. It's going to mess you up. All right, so when you guys are centering your clay, things to remember, make sure you're sitting close to the wheel so that you can plant your elbows on your legs. You wanna create that triangle of power that we talked about, where your hands are on the clay, your elbows are planted. Whether it's your legs, your side, wherever, they need to be planted so that you're creating that stability. Second, you wanna be pushing on the clay with your fingertips and with the heels of your hands. Fingertips are pressing down on the top, Heels of the hands are pressing up on the bottom. So you're going to get your wheel going. You're going to get your wet sponge. You're going to add some water. You're going to plant your elbows. And then you're going to press with your fingertips and the heels of your hands in on the clay. And that's going to start to push that clay towards the middle. Now, as you press towards the middle, that clay is going to start to come up. And you want to press it back down. Remember, you want your clay to be in a cake shape when you guys are done should be flat on top, straight up and down on the sides. So then, as you are pressing on the sides with, uh, the same way, you're going to take your thumbs, you're going to cross them on top, so that you're squeezing in and pressing down at the same time. And that's going to start to flatten your clay. Remember to add water as you guys go, so that your clay doesn't get too sticky. And you should end up with something that looks like this, a cake shape, straight up and down on the sides, flat on top, and this is ready to go. Um, the advanced students are going to be helping you guys out today, ceramics two, three, four students. Please help out the ceramics one students today so that they can get the hang of this and you can show them some things they need to do. And if you get to this point, you guys can start working on making that bowl shape. And that bowl shape, you're going to start by making a hole in the middle. Leave a little clay at the bottom, and then once you make the hole, you're going to pull that clay towards you to open that hole up wider to make your base. If you get here today, you're rocking the house, so that's good. If you don't get here today, that's totally okay. You're going to be pretty bad at this. Take your time, just practice. The more time you do it, the better you're going to get at it, and uh, it's, going to, it's going to come to you pretty soon. So those are the things I want you guys to be working on today. Make sure you remember the key things. Triangle of power, C-shape with your hands, center the clay to make a cake shape, and be pressing in and down on the clay to create that cake shape. If you're doing those things today, you're going to have a lot of success. All right, I'll see you guys next week.